Hi, my name is Emma Williams and I'm a graduating senior here at HPU where I've studied multimedia cinematic production and mass communications with a minor in screenwriting. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about my film capstone called Kepaloa. I am the co-writer, producer, director, and editor of our coming-of-age drama thriller short film. In simplest terms, Kepaloa is a ghost story that isn't really a ghost story at all. It's a story about mental health. The story follows a young Hawaiian boy, Kolu, who recently lost his birth parents and is living with his pseudo-religious foster parents. As his life at home worsens, strange happenings begin to happen in the attic above him, and he goes on a journey to not only remember who he really is, but find his way back to his roots. As an aspiring writer and producer myself, my passions are fueled by storytelling and turning words on a script into powerful, meaningful content on screen. And this was my exact motivation for Kepaloa. With our film, our production team's goal was to create, produce, and develop a short film that integrates a coming-of-age ghost story, mental health awareness, and cultural Hawaiian elements into content that is heartfelt, inspiring, and one that sticks with you long after it's over. To give you a glimpse into the world of Kepaloa, check out this short scene. I've been hearing voices, Ella. They started as just whispers in the back of my mind, but they got louder and louder. They tormented me day and night. I couldn't, I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it and I lost it. Princess Demon, help Regina, help us. Help us, Lord Father God. Help us, Lord Father God. Oh. Back during my sophomore year at HPU, I interned at a local production company called Sight and Sound Productions. Because of my hard work and dedication, they agreed to partner with our production team and sponsor our short film. As a result, we were kindly provided with all sorts of industry-grade equipment that filmmakers my age would only dream of getting their hands on. With this creative project, not only was it my goal to learn the inner workings of what it takes to turn an artistic concept into a completed product on screen, but also it was my way of gaining hands-on experience working on my most professional Hollywood-style short film yet. In the pre-production period, not only did we need to turn ideas into a full short film screenplay, but as the producer of the film, I was tasked with casting, scheduling, scene breakdowns for each day of shooting, and prop and costume logistics to ensure that everything ran smoothly come production. Aside from all of these tasks, we had to also find crew. On set, I was the producer and director of the film, Elena Call was our cinematographer. Kamaheli Britos was both lighting, grip, gaff, and our main actor. And with the help of some incredibly talented HPU students in the cinematic production program, we finally were able to crew up and have other production hands as well. Once everything was in order for pre-production, filming could finally begin. For three weeks in March of 2022, we were on set in the Manoa Valley area filming back-to-back -back eight to 10 hour days. For the first few days of production, we had to teach ourselves how to use all of this new equipment. Not only did we have to build a camera that professionals shoot on in Hollywood, but we needed to teach ourselves how to use a director's monitor, a focus puller, come up with creative lighting setups, and so much more. Oh, and did I mention that we were filming in an attic? Within a few days, everything came together and started to make sense. And soon it was clear to us that the movie magic was happening. After a lot of hard work and extensive collaboration, we had finally wrapped our production by the end of the spring semester. Then we entered our post-production period, which continued into 2023. Throughout the course of this semester, I have been indulged in a extensive post-production workflow, which consisted of me working with 6K and 8K files. Working with these files is extremely difficult as these clips are terabytes and terabytes in size. Once I sorted through all the folders and explored all of the footage we had, I had to pick out the masters and my favorite selects. 
Once I had my selects, I put them onto a timeline, and from there, I had to go into the proxy workflow. A proxy is a low resolution copy of your 6K and 8K footage. To make a proxy, it's a very lengthy and long process. It takes a very long time to download, and um, it's, it's a waiting game, basically. Once the proxies were made, the fun can begin, and I was finally able to start piecing the story together. The post-production workflow consists of so much more than just editing the clips at hand. Throughout the course of the semester, I have been also working on creating title cards, uh, final credit sequences, motion graphics, transitions, working with my sound designer on original tracks, and so, so much more. Our dedication, highest efforts, and team collaboration has led to the creation of Kepaloa, and I am so proud of what we have created. I would like to thank Dr. Pete Britos, Sight Sound Productions, and my entire production team for this journey that we embarked on. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy.